This is the best way to make money in XP and level up insanely quickly in Forza Horizon 5 or being almost entirely AFK. Super easy to use, don't really need any credits or super rare or hard to get cars to get started and I'm very excited to show you guys exactly how this works. Now if this does get patched, I'll be the first one to show a new video, so be sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel with notifications on to stay tuned for further Forza videos, glitches, tutorials and more. Let's go on and get started with exactly what you guys need to start. Now you can use pretty much any car in the game for this, however one of the best in the game for it is going to be this one car in particular, of course being the local Motors Rally Fighter. Only costs 100,000 credits to be able to buy from Auto Show, so very easy, not a big investment to go in and get started. Now, regardless of what car you guys use for this, I would recommend the local motors, but either way, regardless of what car you want to use for this, it's super important you have the upgrades in your car mastery perks area pretty much completely maxed out. These will be very instrumental to be able to make you money fast with this. You guys can see I've got every single perk, so if you don't have enough skill points to get started, drift around for a bit, drive around, get some skill points, and then go in and get ready to start with this race. Once you guys have done that online, we'll go to Creative Hub, Event Lab, Event Blueprints, and type in the code I'll be typing. We can also put this in a pinned comment if you guys would like, but it's very easy and straightforward. The code is 133-945-964. This is the event here, and you might have seen me cover it before, but since then, a couple things have changed, particularly with how quickly you guys will be able to earn XP through this. Now, you'll easily be able to get dozens and dozens of levels in virtually hours of doing this, and definitely be able to hit prestige quickly. Now, of course, it depends how high level you already are. If you just got into the game, you'll hit prestige super quickly. Quickly. If you already have got a few prestiges, it will take a bit longer, as of course that's how the XP system works. Now, one thing to keep in mind, guys, in terms of your difficulty settings. Now, it doesn't really matter too much what difficulty settings you choose. In my findings, it's been pretty important to make sure you've got manual turned on, though, as it will be pretty important, as you're basically getting your car stuck up in one certain position within this tunnel. And I'll show you guys as this race starts. So as soon as it starts, pretty much go ahead and drive up and you want to turn a right after this second marker, and you guys will see me do it on screen. Now, you pretty much have to get your front two wheels up in this pipe, and then you just hold the handbrake and accelerator or the throttle down. What this will do is it'll pretty much wedge your car in, and it's hard to know for sure if you're in the right spot, so it might take a couple of different tries of the race. Now, you can reverse, get these objects out of the way. Again, I'm not perfect at doing it, but I've done it quite a few times to test this out. Then you pretty much want to stop, and you guys get your front two wheels up and just start accelerating. Now, I might go forward a little bit more, um, just to be able to get further in. You can, again, position yourself. But pretty much just do this. You don't really do much on accelerating, and the front two wheels are in. Now, sometimes, depending on how well you've put yourself in this position, you'll earn more credits and XP than other time. And it's hard to know exactly if you're in the perfect spot, so it's pretty much trial and error, but either way, you'll still get a lot of XP and credits at the minimum. It just won't be as much as when you do it the best. So you guys will see it only takes around a minute and a half, and the race will suddenly just end, and you'll place first. You don't have to do anything, as you guys can see. I'll be placed first, I'll get significantly more points than everyone else in the race, and you guys will see as soon as I finish and I go back out into the map, you'll see the XP and credits I'm granted with. Crazy glitch, so easy to use, literally takes two minutes and you guys will be able to see, boom, very easy way to get 90,000 XP in one time of doing this in two minutes and half a million credits. Now, a lot of people I've seen, it's the big mistake, they'll go back in the Creative Hub, back in the Event Lab, Blueprints, and search up the code. Don't have to search up the code all the way again. Just go over to the right, go History, and go straight back in the race. will be your most recent tab here. Wi-Fi is a bit slow for whatever reason, but you guys get the point. Go straight back into the race, and you guys won't have to research for it. Not a big deal, but you'll save quite a lot of time. I've seen people do on and type in the code in every single time. You'll save a couple minutes each time I'm doing that, at least there's the troubles. And again, this is almost fully autonomous. Now, it's not like the back in the day, the 50 left Goliath, where you just tie elastic band around your controller and you get the whole race done for you. It's not quite like that. It's a different fundamental value, but it's still super easy. And you guys pretty much can just sit there watching a show, watching a movie, holding down the accelerator and just passively doing this every couple minutes to remove your car in that spot. And you guys are going to be making millions of credits and a bunch of XP. Now, you guys might have seen I've got a billion skill points, got a billion super wheel spins and more, and you might be wondering how. Well, guys, it's actually because I'm playing on a Forza Horizon 5 instant delivery modded account from mitchcats.com and you guys can too we offer personal mod packs rare car packs and more and of course even gta and call of duty but you guys can see i'll position back into this tunnel get my front wheels up and go and i pretty much rinse and repeat handbrake is on accelerating on i'm actually not in as good a position this time but we'll see how it goes i'll continue guys we've got almost 10,000 reviews on our official trust pilot page we can apply as mods or existing credits to an account of yours we can mod your full account with a bunch of rare car skill points and more and of course we're the biggest and most reputable and fully safe with all 
life processes for Forza, GTA, Call of Duty, even EAFC 24 and more. Check it out guys, MitchCurtis.com as we're coming up to a close in this second version. Let's see how much XP and credits we got this time. I would say the first one was a little bit better as it seemed my car was a little bit further back in the tunnel. But again, you guys learn and you can rinse and repeat and make changes. So I'll see, actually this one might have been better over 20,000 points is quite a lot. But again, we'll see guys how much XP and credits I got and you rinse, rinse and repeat, do this over and over again. In an hour, you guys leveled up so many times. 40,000 XP, this one was not as good. Next time, I want to position a little bit back further in the tunnel, but still, 40,000 XP, 200,000 credits for what a minute or two, definitely no complaints. Now, if you guys want to stab there with any further videos, if this one is get patched, drop a like and subscribe, because I have a feeling it might get patched soon, but I guess we'll have to see. And of course, check out the modded accounts, credits, red car packs, and more at MitchCatters.com. Thank you all so much for watching.